Jamaican minister is facing child sex charges. It's a story you saw first on WASH 2. 57-year-old Luis Morales was arrested by FBI agents in his Ormond Beach home. We do have team coverage on this story, starting with Claire Metz from outside the minister's home. And Claire, these are some pretty serious charges. Yeah, to say the least, Martha, this investigation has been ongoing for more than a year uh, between the FBI and, we understand, Ormond Beach Police. Now, Morales has a home and web-based ministry, and apparently he met his victims through that. Now, according to the officials here, this has been a devastating thing for the community. So anybody that makes an accusation against a man or a woman of God is on Satan's teeth. Tito Morales' wife, Linda, left Orlando Federal Court standing by her man. But according to this five-count federal indictment, between 2009 and 2010, Morales transported children, young girls, for purposes of having them engage in sex with him, something his wife, who is not charged, seems to discount. Jesus loves you. According to neighbors, the couples have run a ministry from their home on Crossings Trail for several years. My understanding is that they're in the religious business, uh, evangelist or some line of, of uh, religion. We could hear them yelling and the music through the, through the windows. But it appears the real outreach is through the couple's website, in Fuego for Jesus, which means on fire for Jesus. Morales is known as Apostle Tito, and indicted along with him is a woman who calls herself Prophet Rebecca. She is Rebecca Rivera. In the first two counts, Morales and Rivera allegedly brought a 12-year-old girl from Florida to Connecticut and back. In court, Prosecutors said Morales molested the child all the way. We've seen young girls. It doesn't appear any of the victims are local, but we learned three sisters between 10 and 13 years of age were allegedly molested in 2010 in Morales' home, and that one young victim was brought from Arizona to Florida to the U.S. Virgin Islands for sexual purposes. Several of the young victims were at the court proceedings. They left in a vehicle from Louisiana with an adult who had no comment. Back live now, and again, just to reiterate, it does not appear that any of those young victims are local. Now, according to federal prosecutors, if convicted, each count, and again, there are five, uh, you, are, you are eligible for between 10 and 10 years in prison and life in prison, and subject to forfeiture proceedings, uh, Linda Morales was heard in court saying the house is in her name and cannot be taken from her. Reporting live in Ormond Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.